Hi teachers, I'm Kiki from Kiki in Her Classroom and I'm making a YouTube video. What? It has been way too long. Um, the last video I made was probably a year ago. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, I can never stay on it for some reason. Once the year starts, I just get distracted I'm like in the zone getting my classroom ready I forget to make a video but like I said last time fingers crossed I'm really gonna try to stick on it we'll see um, it would be nice to document the year and to have that all on here for you guys so we'll see how it goes but today what I have for you all is a haul video I am redecorating my classroom um, to a home sweet classroom theme and I'm so excited and so I got all of the goodies from Target I have a mess here I'm gonna show you guys I mostly went to Target and oh I did Target and Michaels so I have a ton of stuff from Target if I have time in this video I'll show you what I got from Michaels but that might be for another video just depending on how long this one goes but um, yeah, I'm really excited. I got all of the neutral colors, the burlap, the black, the white, the pinks, the blues, um, the green, hence the plants. This is from Target and I'm using it in my video. <laughs> but yeah, I got all of the cute neutral colors and I'm so excited to make it our home away from home. Before I start, I also want to say that I do not know what the plan for next year is. Technically, um, it's not for sure if we're going back or not yet. Um, so you might be like, well, why'd she buy all this stuff? Well, the reason why I bought it was because I didn't want to wait until last minute in case we do go back. And a lot of the stuff, hence the plant, is stuff that I would use in my future office. So if we do do distance, do do, if we do distance learning, then I can use a lot of it in my office. And if not, one day the world will return to normal, hopefully, and I will be able to use all of this in my classroom once we go back to normal. So it will not go to waste. It will definitely be used whether it's in my office or in my classroom a year from now, two years from now, whatever, hopefully in a few months. I'm hopeful, but who knows? I'm actually really, really excited. I love redecorating. And in my mind, I always thought, oh, when I switch grade levels one day, I'll definitely change my classroom. But I love second grade. Like I really, have no desire to move out of second grade right now so i was like you know what i don't need to switch grade levels to change my classroom and so i decided i was going to change it up even though i'll still be in second grade next year so i'm really excited to like hit that home sweet classroom vibe and to really become a family with my kids especially right now i can't wait to see it all come together and thank you guys for following along Okay, so first I'm going to start with things that are not from the Target dollar spot. So although I'm doing a neutral home sweet classroom vibe, I still want to bring in some colors and rainbows because your girl loves rainbows, obviously. So I got this little piñata and it's so cute. I love that it's a rainbow and it's kind of like that, I don't even know, iridescent, I think is the word. Um, so it's kind of like shiny at the bottom. And so I thought this would be so cute on the side of like a bulletin board just to bring that pop of color. I also got some pens. These are erasable, they're amazing. If you've never used them before, I've used the pens and the markers before and they erase really well. And these are marker pens, the best of both worlds. Also got, because I couldn't decide, another pack of pens because what's better than one pack? Two packs. So these I just couldn't pass up because they have every color of the rainbow that you could imagine. And they're different, they're not erasable, um, they're gel pens and so they're a little bit brighter and yeah, I thought grading, planners, you can always use good pens. Next is a folder. So I got this rainbow folder for myself to kind of keep any um, staff meeting papers, any loose papers from like a meeting of some sort. I just thought it was so cute. Again, the rainbows, I, I love. I also scored this amazing little mini easel. Okay, let me tell you real quick story time. So I almost bought a mini like whiteboard easel that was so expensive to put on my desk for like small group. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna buy this. I could just use the whiteboard and hold it up. But then I found this and I was like, this is perfect. Like when I'm doing small group, I just need something to hold my whiteboard up so I can like write on it. And so I thought this was such a score for $4.99. It's in the art section. I also got this cheetah magnetic pencil holder. Um, I have a filing cabinet behind my desk and I kind of put like 
my calendar there and my pens and my sorts of things. Um, so I thought this would be so cute to put all of my pens in. It's super cute and it's in the locker section at Target. Going along with the magnetic section. Oh my gosh, you can see how dirty our bedroom is. Ooh! <laughs> Going along with that, if you can see yourself there, I got this mirror to put on, um, to put on the back of my desk because it's always good for like a lipstick retouch to have a good mirror in there. So yeah, and it has like a gold trim, which I really liked. Next up, I got this magnetic board eraser. Yes, I do actually just need an eraser in general and this one was magnetic. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And yeah, it's always good to have a good eraser for your whiteboard. I don't think I've replaced mine in three years. Next are these Astro Bright classroom postcards. These are so cool. Okay, so on the front it says, a note to tell you how awesome your child is, parent mail, aka not a bill. And then on the back you can say hello and then tell them why um, your student is doing great things. So I got two packs of those so I can make sure to send one to each student throughout the year. I think they're so cute and what parent isn't going to love great things about their kiddos? I also got some magnets. These are just gold. Um, pretty simple, but they seem pretty heavy duty, which is always good to have good magnets. You don't want your stuff like sliding down or not staying up. So yeah, I got these. I also got some new um, table supply containers. <laughs> what are these called? It'll come to me later. But I also got these. I know that we probably will not be doing shared supplies when we return to school, but it's okay. I figured I can save them. I love how they fit the glue perfectly. And then it has these compartments to put um, like highlighters, pencils, color pencils. I really, really like that. Cause the ones we have now they're kind of big and everything just kind of flies around. So I feel like this will keep it all very organized. Um, and then I'm gonna put like a table one thing right here. So these are super cute and kind of go with that rustic farmhouse, home, neutral, whatever you wanna call it, vibe. The thing that was definitely not from the Target dollar spot was this giant plant. It is pretty big, as you can see. Um, it's a fake plant, obviously, but I love these leaves. I don't even know what kind of plant this is, but I just love it. Um, they're big and green and it's such a statement piece, really brings together that like homey vibe, that natural vibe. Um, it was $40. But I figured this will definitely be used in my home, like no matter what, because it also matches like my home sweet home. And so um, as you can see, I'm using it here, but I can also use it in my classroom really anywhere because it's just, it's so beautiful. And I cannot take care of real plants, so this is the next best thing. Next are these buckets. So these were $6 for four. Um, I actually thought it was $6 for one and I was like, I'm Target and no, I'm not spending $6 for one bucket, but I was wrong. Um, it was for a pack, I didn't know that. So when I went to Michael's, I bought other ones. So now I have a ton of these, which is fine because these definitely get used. You can use them for like um, centers. If you have like markers that they need to use for one of the centers, you can use them for your Sharpies, for organization, for literally anything. So they're so cute. I also love that it has that like chalk label so I can use my chalk markers and write what is in the bucket. I also got a letter board. I'm so excited about this. So at the Target dollar spot, they had a letter board that said first day of school, last day of school on one on each side. And I almost got it. It was $5. And then I saw this beauty and I was like, um, for $10 more, I can put whatever I want on it at any time. And I don't have to be restricted to like the first day of school, last day of school. So it was an investment. And so I got this for $15 and I'm so excited about it. I've always wanted a letter board so we can do so much with this. Like I can put this by my desk. We can do star student on here. I could do first day of school, last day of school, donuts for a dear one, anything. I'm so excited. Even for like personal use, I could use it. So yay. So this item started the entire classroom transformation because I really needed to organize my math manipulatives. I have this like what I call a rat's nest in my classroom. It's like by my desk and it's just this like hole. I think it was meant for a TV and I just have like 
junk in there. Like all of these like math manipulatives and like ugly bins that the district provided us with and just like bags of stuff and just old things that needs to be like cleaned out. So that's gonna be my project whenever we go back. And I really need to organize those math, manip math manipulatives, got it. So <laughs> I got these bins and they're so cute. If you see, they're like a pastel pink and that's what like started this all. Cause I was like, this doesn't go with my rainbow theme, but I was like, ooh, I can do like the farmhouse home like look. And so that was the beginning of all of this so I got these these are like five dollars for five which is such a good deal they're not huge so these would be really good for like those mini clocks um, anything like that maybe bags of dice and then for the bigger stuff like my um, place value blocks or my cubes and all of those things I got the big ones so the big ones are oh, five for two or two for five and so they're the same color and I'll just put like a label on the front so that I know what math manipulative it is this beautiful divider, I love it. It fits paper, notebooks, all of that good stuff. I have one behind my desk, but it's like bright and um, colorful. It's like black and bright. So I thought this would really go with the theme and it was only like $7.99. It was in the kids section and I just think it's so cute. It's got little gold polka dots. Love it. This frame I also got, I think it was like $4. And the reason I got it was because I have a picture of Nick and I in my classroom, but that frame is falling apart. And so I really like that this one is wood and it's very sturdy. So I got that. I also got some bright sticky notes. These will always be used. And the markers were like 99 cents each. So I got three packs. Now we're gonna get into Target dollar spot items. So the first thing I found were these clear containers. I really like that they were clear, but not completely clear. So if you put something in it, you can see like the shadow of it, but you can't fully see what it is. Um, I thought these were so cool to go with that neutral vibe. They were $3 each and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna use them for yet. I, I couldn't remember, I have so many bins in my classroom but I might use them to put like our glue stick, something like that. So I got four of those and I also got these black containers. So I have these in like the rainbow colors and I thought black would just look so cute with the theme. And then I could still use some of my rainbow ones, like maybe the yellow and blue and pink. Um, but these are $3 and these are like the best turn it in trays. The papers fit perfectly, they lay flat. Um, and yeah, I love them. They're super easy to use and they're very sturdy. So I got three of these. Also from the Target Dollar Spot, I got these reward certificates. They're so cute. There's a different reward in there. Like for example, there's the Star Speller, the Kind Classmate, the Future Scientist, all of that. And they're super, super cute. This was only a dollar and it comes with 30, which I love because I typically have 25, 26 kids. Um, and so anytime there's something with like 24, I'm like, mm, I'm missing it by like two kids. So anything in a pack of 30 is the best. I also got these happy birthday signs. I get these every year from the Target Dollar Spot because I use them every year. Um, anytime a kiddo has a birthday, I write their name on here. I give them a fun pencil. We send them happy birthday. And again, it comes with 30, which is a lifesaver. One of my favorite purchases from the Target Dollar Spot is this amazing date calendar holder. It says, welcome to our home. How perfect is that? So I'm gonna put um, room 20 here or our class family or something, I'm, I'm still thinking. Um, and then here you put like the month, the day and all of that good stuff and it comes with them here. So I just thought this would be so cute. That way I don't just write the date every day. I can just change it on here. I could even make this a job for one of my kiddos um, and they can change it each day. So it's so perfect. I got these adorable blank books. I absolutely love these. I've used these before my first year teaching and had the kiddos publish a story. I don't even remember what the story was about because I did it my first year teaching. So I will have to check my Instagram to remind myself, but I thought the design was so adorable. So I picked up a class set. Next up are these clips. They're wooden and they can hang on like a um, bulletin board. If you put like push pins, it's, it'll hang on there. And then I thought it'd be so cute for like holding up an anchor chart or something. So they were on sale for 50 cents. Super cute. I got two yellow and one blue. I also got these all about me posters. 
They are so darling, or I guess they're a banner, not a poster, but it says like all about me, what their favorite movie is, favorite sweets, favorite subject. I thought that would be so cute to color and do on the first day or first week of school. I also got some pencils. I usually buy pencils every year because I give it to my kiddos as a gift on the first day of school. And so they had these really cute astronaut pencils. I got these rainbows and stripes. And I also got these white pencils and they have like cute little sayings. Like that one says, make today amazing. This one says, be a good friend. They all have like a really cute quote on there. I got this clear container. It's actually a makeup container, but I was thinking of putting it on my desk and putting like some of my pens or markers, all that good stuff. Maybe even sticky notes that I use constantly because I have like a bucket of sticky note holders in my supply drawer. Um, but it'd be nice to have them at my desk because I'm always using them. So I loved it. I love that it was flat because I can stack some of my um, pencil buckets on top and just utilize as much space as I can. These were $3 each and they're stackable. So you could buy more if you need them. Love them. Okay, the last thing and what I'm most excited for are bulletin boards. So at the Target Dollar Spot this year, they have the cutest, probably my favorite, favorite bulletin boards they've ever had there. Um, they are reversible. So I got these and they're like rainbow crayons. And then on the back there's pencils. How cute is that? So I will definitely be changing all of the borders in my classroom. I'll definitely be using these. I might even do the pencils on my hashtag best work ever wall where I put all of the kiddos writing. So I'm really, really excited about that. I picked up a few packs and then the light bulbs. Ah! They're so cute. They are reversible. Oh, almost slapped myself. They are reversible with black and white. And I just think these are so adorable. And the next pack are these rainbow ones. Again, bringing that pop of color into all of that neutral that's going to be in our home sweet classroom. I love these. And then the back is so cute. It's like polka dots. And the last bulletin board that I found that I loved was the work hard and be kind one. Um, I absolutely love this. Again, the pop of color. They're so cute. This one is not reversible, but it's still super cute. The only one I couldn't find that I have my eye on on Instagram is like the ABC alphabet one that's really colorful. So if I see it, I'll probably grab it. All right, so that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking around. I know that was a lot of stuff, but I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun shopping and it's so fun to redecorate. So I'm really, really excited. Um, because this video is probably going to be pretty long, I will most likely save my Michael haul for another video. Um, it'll be shorter and that way this will just be Target. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and thank you guys so much for following along with my teaching journey and for supporting me here on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me already, my Instagram is Kiki and her classroom and I post lots of fashion tips and classroom things and all of that good stuff, basically anything that I love with you all. So thank you guys so much for all of your support as always and I'll see you later, bye. I also want to show you guys behind the scenes. Look at the disaster that is the hall. The floor is covered, the desk, our messy bedroom, and I have more over here. It's everywhere. <laughs>